The first product on our list is Steel Series QCK. Offering something for just about anyone, the Steel Series QCK comes in various sizes with soft or hard finishes that emphasize accuracy or quickness. The thickest version is available in a large enough form factor to rest underneath a full-size keyboard. This product is available on Amazon for $11. There are 33,187 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 4.7 stars, a customer said. This is a really nice mouse pad. The thickness is great and it is comfortable to use. The size is also perfect for use in games where low sensitivity is required like FPSs. The edges are really solid and after months of use they aren't fraying at all, even on the most heavily used area, the bottom. After using this for quite some time, the only complaint that I have is that the heavily used areas are starting to turn white due to being rubbed against so often. This doesn't affect the performance of the mouse, that I've noticed, but it. Another happy customer said. I got a hard steel series pad so I could use my mouse on my couch. It worked great, until my cat discovered it. Now I can only use about 2 inches of it, luckily the surface works well with my SteelSeries mouse's high DPI setting. The second product on our list is Razer Firefly V2. Gamers especially focused on speed should consider the Razer Firefly V2, which boasts a rigid micro-textured top that helps make lightning-fast movement easy. Its integrated lighting can be programmed to match a wide range of devices from a number of popular manufacturers. The price is around $49. Check out the product link in the YouTube description. This product is rated with 4.6 stars from 2,389 customer reviews. A customer said. Pretty nice. Love the chroma and the cloth is much smoother to play on than the hard plastic. My only complaint is the position of where the power cable comes in. Absolutely horrible placement dead center so my wired mouse cable hits it and will stop my movement. Sometimes the cable will go on top of the little power box and raise my mouse just enough so the laser won't hit the pad and pick up the motion. Basically you need to use your mouse on either side of this power box. A smarter option would be to allow it. Another happy customer said. I bought this as a three-piece item with the Raider Mamba mouse and Black Widow keyboard. Let me tell you that the price may be a bit higher than some would consider paying, but I can assure you that this is a very high quality item through and through. The packaging I can can only compare it to the intricate quality of Apple products. Dot and actual they surpassed Apple on that in my opinion. Next, I would consider these items as equipment, and not just a mouse and keyboard. All are of superior quality from thick hookup cables to strong, heavy casings for the next product is Razer Spex V2. Easily one of the thinnest options out there, the Razer Spex V2 features an ultra slim form factor and an adhesive back that sticks to your desk and only comes off when you want it to. It's designed to strike a solid balance between precise control and fast movement. The price is around $13. Check out the product link in the There are 2,217 customers have reviewed this product. The average rating is 4.4 stars, a customer said. Be sure you read the description like I did, I'll start there. Here are the few things, in my opinion, of the pros and cons. Pros, easy to set great texture great security cons, label that promotes unsticking glue type adhesive it doesn't come in a bigger size so starting with the pros, should be the first thing. Pros the pad itself is easy to set up, you just take off the plastic that covers the adhesive and place it on a clean and dry surface, that should be easy enough to know. The texture is slightly raised but not high enough to make the mouse read too much. As it has. Another happy customer said. I absolutely love this mouse pad. I can't believe I haven't found one earlier. I spend a great deal of time working on the computer writing and grading papers. I have tried mouse pads with cushions for my hands, I've even tried mouse pads and cutting boards. This mouse pad provides enough traction for my mouse to move with precision. I don't have to hold the mouse pad down and it's big enough to not have to pick up my mouse every time I try to select a great deal of text. I am not a gamer, but gamers have something on.
The next product in our list is HyperX Fury S. Both the speed and control versions of the HyperX Fury S would make a good choice for gamers on a tight budget, whether they prefer 360 no scopes or calculated headshots. They come in four varieties to accommodate full size keyboards and desktops, both large and small. This product is available on Amazon for $19. Check out the link. The average rating of this product is 4.7 stars with more than 3,545 customer reviews. A customer said, I ordered this and the wider version of this mouse pad. I tried both for a week and returned the full-size one that fits your keyboard. The large square pad allows you to move it into any position you want to, space needs aside. It has been holding up now for six months, no staining, color fading issues, or sewing issues. The mouse pad sticks to the table and doesn't move from the where you place it. Remember to dial in your mouse with the pad especially if you are going from a hard pad this one. Be very mindful. The number 5. Rockat Illumic. Meant for gamers who enjoy multiple different playstyles, the Rockat Illumic lets you choose between precision and speed-oriented surfaces by simply flipping it over. It's 3 mm thick with a rigid aluminum core that resists warping. The price approximately $22. This product is rated with 4.3 stars from 388 customer reviews. A customer said. I always found cloth mouse pads too, sticky, for gaming, and especially for work, where I typically operate across three monitors. Top of the line cloth mouse pads only feel marginally better than the cheaper ones. Even with high DPI settings on a gaming mouse, my cursor didn't feel nimble enough to track across multiple monitors as fast as I wanted while still offering the accuracy I needed. I ended up developing a preference for hard surface like my desk instead of a mouse pad, but unfortunately that hindered tracking and accuracy. If you find yourself feeling similarly and are considering purchasing a hard surface mouse pad, I'd recommend taking. Another happy customer said, A quick comparison between the mouse pads I've used over the years, Razor Mantis, cloth pad, slow, too much friction for my taste, high friction equals hard to adjust slow precise movements, Razor EX Act Mat X, metal pad like the Illumic, almost no friction, slightly slower, stickier, awkward shape, I often run off to the edges of the mat during heavy gaming sessions. The Naga's laser also doesn't seem track as well on the neon green lettering on the mat. SteelSeries 9 HD, almost no friction, surface is a bit rougher than the other pads, unfortunately the Naga does not track. The number 6. Razer Goliathus Extended. Built to look good without being overly flashy, the Razer Goliathus Extended frames both your mouse and keyboard with a single RGB strip that you can customize using the company's powerful software and synchronize with specific games. The price approximately $59. The average rating of this product is 4.6 stars with more than 1489 customer reviews. A customer said. This mousepad is worth every penny. It may be slightly expensive at $60, but you really are getting what you paid for. I got the extended version, which is absolutely massive. It has room for a full-size keyboard and a mouse with room to spare. The mat is made of a nice soft material with the chroma lighting around the sides. My main skepticism was that the threads holding the chroma lighting would be weak, but they are strong and hold the lighting tight against the pad. If you read reviews saying that the pad doesn't lay down flat. Another happy customer said. Even though I bought this by accident, I still decided to try it out. Here's what you might want to know before buying it, and some pros and cons of it. Pros, from the get-go, you will notice that the mat itself is quality and is perfect if you are using any type of mouse, especially if you plan on using an optical mouse. It has a nice, thick, luxurious feel to it and it even has a little extra flair to with the added chroma effect that is neatly stitched on the outside of the mouse pad. It has, what I would consider. The next product in our list is. Zowie Gear G Senior. 
Intended specifically for esports enthusiasts, the Zowie Gear GSR measures a massive 19 by 16 inches and features a tacky rubber base with a moderately soft surface that offers a high level of control and works with all types of sensors. The price is around $29. Check out the product link in the YouTube description below. There are 758 reviews which average rating is 4.7 stars for this product. A customer said. Great mouse pad but it's overpriced. You can buy a HyperX one that's of similar, if not better, quality, with a design on it, that's almost twice as large for $10 less. Only thing is that the surface on this mouse pad is so much better than any other mouse pad I've used. It doesn't necessarily feel better on the skin or look better than others, but it just performs better. You can stop on a dime with it, but you don't end up getting stuck when making small adjustments. I have a wired G Pro with hyperglide skates. Another happy customer said. Pros. This might be the best mouse pad one can use for CS. The stopping power and control you're provided with is second to none. If you play a game that is highly reliant on accurate flicks with a low time to kill like Call of Duty, CS or Fortnite, this mousepad is for you. Cons. This mousepad gets worn out very quickly and will require cleaning with soap and water at least once a month. Micro adjustments become very difficult after a few weeks of use and if you mainly play a game that requires tracking aim such as Quake, Apex or Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.